Yo, 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 what's up with it, YouTube? What's going on on this Monday morning? And you know, like always, man, we got two stars on the show. Fallen stars, that is. <laughs> and if they fallen stars, they must be devils. Hey, man, so let's check out these details and see these two devils. Bright idea. And I believe it's courtesy of the blaze. Woman. 34 entices Florida man 73 to her home for romantic date only for him to be pummeled by her ex-boyfriend and planned robbery and that's according to the police shout out to Paul for bringing us this story and man look at these two outstanding citizens of society right here <laughs> <laughs> should have been you know what i mean and look at her boyfriend he already regretting it you know as a matter of fact he the one that told look at the difference between his picture and hers she probably uh, kept solid and he probably the one that read it but let's see what happened an elderly florida man fell victim to a pre-arranged trap planned by a 34 year old woman who set him up to be robbed by her ex-boyfriend according to police yeah, they got caught for that joint. Chelsea Wright, 34, and Andrew Marks, 33, were arrested by the Volusia County Sheriff's Office. The pair were charged with robbery with a weapon and aggravated battery on a victim over the age of 65. Just before 5 a.m. on February 22nd, a 73-year-old Florida man appeared at a local hospital. He needed to be treated for numerous injuries to his head, torso, and arms, with significant lacerations to his head that requires staples and his eye swollen shut. Man, they beat that old man bad. The elderly man informed detectives that he had been battered with a metal object by a man in the Plantation Pines neighborhood. He said that his wallet had been stolen by the unidentified man. During the investigation, police learned that the elderly man had met the 34-year-old Wright at a Daytona Beach bar. She reportedly invited the 73 year old man back to her home for a romantic date. <clears throat> he allegedly followed right to her home in separate vehicles. Volusia County Sheriff's Office said in the Saturday press release at one point on the drive, Wright stopped to pick up someone from the side of the road. She continued driving with the victim following then stopped and dropped off her passenger near her home. The victim then got out of his car and approached Wright's vehicle. That's when police suspect Marks ambushed the Everly Florida man and pummeled the 73-year-old with the metal object. The victim claimed that his attacker repeatedly beat him even as he fell to the ground and took cover in the fetal position. The assailant allegedly stole the man's wallet and fled the crime scene as did right but they didn't get away the elderly man was left bleeding on the ground police reportedly began conducting surveillance on right and subsequently pulled a 34 year old woman on a traffic infraction officers allegedly found narcotics in her vehicle and took her into custody on drug charges as well as violations of her probation during interrogations Wright claimed her date was attacked by an elderly woman with Alzheimer's disease who she picked up on the side of the road. Law enforcement later discovered text messages between Wright and her ex-boyfriend planning to rob the elderly man, according to authorities. On Friday, Marks was arrested. Both suspects remain in custody. <laughs> Uh, elderly, it was an elderly woman until the cops found the text messages between her and her ex boyfriend, right? <laughs> and folks, that is exactly why they are called dumb criminals, man. And you know, our hearts and prayers, our, our, our prayers go out to that elderly victim, man. We hope he, you know, he make a speedy recovery. And this guy was just at the bar at 73 years old, man, you know, trying to, you know, find some companionship, I guess, you know. And, and not knowing that, you know what I'm saying, he was crossing the path of evil, man. But, man, what do y'all think about this, man? And what do y'all think about this dude mugshot? Drop your comments down below. It looks like he's regretting every bit of this. 
<laughs> he told on everybody. I'm telling you. Drop your comments down below, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on this notification bell. And I'll definitely check y'all out on the next episode, man. Peace.